Hello, this is Katie, and this is going to be, where that was, there we go, um, the first card in my Christmas card series. I was going to do this last night, but I hurt my back, um, just in our new bed. I'm getting used to it. It's supposed to be better. I hope it gets better, but um, it hurt too much last night to do anything. So, uh, I am doing it today. Today's Thanksgiving. I still have to get ready and head over to my parents' house. But I have some time to make a card. Um, my finger, specifically this one, has also been hurting. Just random spurts of like, I swear it's bone pain. I don't know what's going on. Um, so I haven't put my rings on yet. So that's why they are not there. Um, but I'm hoping that goes away too. I'm just a disaster person this week, I think. Um, so this set... I want to give you a better look at it is from ink road stamps and i think it's the set we've all been waiting for so um i hope she makes a second one with more because i can't handle it and one year i got my family these mugs for christmas um the moose mug from the movie christmas vacation and uh so the set is called are you serious clark and i'm going to be using this stamp and this stamp and I have, <clears throat> I cut a top opening navy blue card because it goes with powder blue. And if you don't know why I'm using powder blue, you need to see the movie again, apparently 12 more times. So I'll be using that. And then this here, I used my little Inker Designs dies for those, my rectangle stitched and my circle stitched. And then, so I'm going to set aside the base, and we're going to work on this one here. We're going to be embossing on both of them. So I need to run my little embossing dude across. <clears throat> I think the most annoying thing you'll probably ever do in crafting, aside from dropping a black ink pad on a finished card, um, which I did once and will never do again in my life. I'm pretty sure that was like seven years ago. Um, is forget to de-static your paper before you do any powder embossing because then the powder will stick to the whole sheet. So, I mean, it kind of just sticks sporadically. But if you don't do your little static bag or static brush, whatever you have, then um, it doesn't end well. So... I'm going to use the little mousse on my new Lawn Fawn block. And we're going to kind of create a background. And I'm going to go over the stitching. And then I'm going to use clear embossing powder. I'm going to kind of just try and create my own pattern. <coughs> and then fill it in. I think I'll give this card today to one of my brothers and then he can gift it, but I did mainly get this set so that I can make <laughs> Christmas cards for my brothers that were completely appropriate for them. And because it's amazing. So not a completely straight pattern, just kind of going with the flow. And I'm just using my Versamark Clear ink. I think this Lawn Fawn block, I'm just still getting used to it because it's like circular. I just got it because they're so cute and I always love it when they use them in videos. Um, but it kind of hurts my fingers sometimes so I think I need to get, just get used to holding it. I'll clean those after. Um, I'm going to, I only have to stamp one more thing so I'm going to wait on that. I'm going to stamp the sentiment in VersaFine Onyx Black and then we're just going to clear emboss both of them at the same time. I'm going to stamp off once on there. Can I refill your eggnog for you? Get you something to eat? Drive you out to the middle of nowhere and leave you for dead? 
Okay, so center this the best I can. Pretty good. Clean that later as well. Okay, so I'm going to use clear on both of these. Let's just do this guy first. Oh, I didn't uh, embossing buddy that. See, I tell you not to do something and then I do it. So, but that's fine. It's clear. It's not a color and it seems to not be sticking anywhere else. So I got lucky, but we embossed this one. So we should be good. The embossing powder is cold today. That is all over my fingers. Okay. <clears throat> so then I usually just make sure I've got all the areas covered where it's not grabbing the powder. And then I usually just tap the back lightly. And then I can use a um, paintbrush as well. So I will dump this back in my little bucket first. <coughs> And get that out of the way and wipe off all of the extra powder so I don't melt it to my new craft mat. And then I have like a dry brush that I use for stuff like this. So. I think it's fine though. All right, so I'm going to heat up the heat gun and I will melt both of these and then we will assemble the card. away some really quick oh I don't know what is happening I need to get more uh, powder <clears throat> on these moosins not sure if I didn't stamp it well enough or What is going on? Okay. So, set that aside again. <coughs> okay. Let's try this again. is really strange so the embossing powder is behaving very weirdly um doesn't look more like Mickey Mouse faces I don't know if it 
the embossing powder kind of blew as I was melting it and then it ended up in different places so that kind of sucks but uh, I don't know what else to do I think I probably might need to get a finer clear embossing powder but yeah that doesn't look very good I'm gonna cut a uh, new blue background I'll be right back okay so much better compared to that disaster. Um, I did use a different embossing powder. I have a Judykins brand. I can't remember what brand it was that I put in that bucket. I have two of those. Um, but I tried to stamp a little um, firmer as well. So it was a little less splotchy. So that one ended up a lot better. I will toss this other one. Okay, so. I am going to just stick this down, so I need my tape runner. Hope they got enough time to dry. <clears throat> so, we will stick this down in the middle. runner coming out the end and then we'll put this up on um, foam tape just to give it a little dimension And then I will just cut this down the middle for the sides, just so it's lifted up and supported and firm. Okay. So then we will get this in the middle as well. And put that down very simple card but I did want to use this set I just got it in the mail I also got two others there was a pre-order so I will definitely be using this one next Halloween I love it it's called boo crew and then pump PSL is what this one is called and I found out that that fits right in these lines as well so I believe these are still available on her website now that she got some in, so you should go get them. I did mainly get this one for these beautiful leaves, so I cannot wait for that. But they're all so cute, and this is hilarious. So um, I recommend you do that and go pick up the Christmas set because it is hilarious. And I will be making more cards, and this might be my favorite stamp. So that is it thank you for watching and there will be many more christmas cards to come thanks bye